Well, it almost looks like a Fresnel antenna. Well, it looks like a multiple wave oscillator golden ratio antenna on the golden ratio Fibonacci series of 1 to 1.62 relationship between the antennas with the idea of generating a spread of frequencies all up and down the wavelength pattern so that every cell in your body gets healed and rejuvenated. And remember the force, loop, feel the force, this mass-free cosmic energy, which actually is human sexuality, as discovered by Wilhelm Reich, orgone energy, the id or the libido from hmm, Sigmund okay. Freud. It's the force, the very nature of the force is not so much electromagnetic, but Biological. It's alive. It's alive. Sure. And well, this is the device. Go ahead. Yeah. So in terms of now, in terms of this device, so you have power supply, power, power supply, transistors, MOSFET. Um, okay. Which chops the 12 volts to drive a pair of auto coils 180 degrees out of phase, and then they go through spark gaps and a couple of big capacitors to ring this Tesla coil with a pretty good resonance. Oh, the I see. Primary okay. frequency is tunable, plus the duty cycle of the auto coils are tunable, plus the dual inline spark gaps are tunable to achieve resonance. And then the subject is placed in between two antennas, and there's distributed capacitance of the between the two, like a. Like are are, are you able to power this? Would it be okay to ask for a test to well, see sure, if it, we could power it? Actually, out. I'd be interested in seeing if it caused interference with the camera. I imagine it knocked the camera right out. But we can power it up right now. In fact, sure. Well, why don't I? What I can do is move off to the side a little bit so I don't get the full blast. Right, well, I'll just plug in the radiator antenna. Okay, so again, these two antennas are what create the capacitance effect, right? Now, are, are both of these activating? Only the radiator now is activating, but that's plenty. And even though you don't see a lot of sparks, they're pretty much there. Every ring is radiating. Quite a bit of power. And actually, I think it's more effective if I back it off a little. So that we don't see a lot of sparks but there's still power there. And the idea is that the subject is in between the two antennas, and then a distributed capacitance from the person's body starts to interact and feed back into the circuit, so that with a little bit of tuning, almost tune it by ear to keep that sweet spot going on. Oh, okay. It kind okay. of tunes it for each experimental subject. And the idea is to ring them, ring them like a bell. And after a while, you kind of get the hang of it. A little bit of tuning, tuning the on on cycle, but there the on is still too short and I back it off, so that the coils hit saturation and then they fire, so that it doesn't build up heat, so that you can keep them there for an hour without it getting hot. And man, I tell you, after an hour in there, it might be a tough time falling asleep that night. Absolutely. So, so this is a pull out a little bit. wave oscillator. It's all it is, using modern electronic components with the experimental purpose of human healing, but that's exactly what it's used for. Absolutely. That's exactly what it's used for. Okay. Well, and are you online, on the web? Or? I sure am. That's www.zephyr technology. Z is in zebra, Z-E-P-H-Y-R technology. That's zephyrtechnology.com. Go there, surf on in, and browse around for a while. You'll be glad you did. Great, awesome.